And now I have the International Service for Human Rights for a joint statement. Madam, you have the floor. Thank you, President. The failure of states to pay their UN membership dues in full and in time and the practice of conditioning funding on unilateral political goals is causing a financial liquidity crisis, the impacts of which are felt by victims and survivors. We remind decision makers that what is being traded off are priorities brought to the UN by defenders and affected populations and agreed to by governments themselves. Without the resources needed, the outcomes of this session can't be implemented. We welcome the adoption of three resolutions calling for the implementation of effective accountability measures to ensure justice for atrocity crimes committed in the context of Israel's decades-long colonial apartheid imposed over the Palestinian people and for the realization of the Palestinian people's right to self-determination. Special procedures express their profound concern about the support of certain governments for Israel's strategy of warfare against the besieged population of Gaza and the failure of the international system to mobilize to prevent genocide and called on states to implement an arms embargo on Israel heightened by the ICJ ruling that there is a plausible risk of genocide in Gaza. We deplore the double standards in applying international law and the failure of certain states to vote in favor of ending impunity. This undermines the integrity of the framework, the legitimacy of this institution, and the credibility of those states. From Palestine to Ukraine to Myanmar to Sri Lanka to Sudan, resolving grave violations requires states to address root causes, applying human rights norms in a principled and consistent way. The Council has a prevention mandate and states have a legal and moral duty to prevent and ensure accountability and non-recurrence for atrocity crimes wherever they occur. We welcome the first ever resolution on combating discrimination, violence, and harmful practices against intersex persons. We welcome the mandate renewals on persons with albinism and on the environment and the adoption of resolutions on disinformation, freedom of religion or belief, genocide prevention, rights of the child, torture, Belarus, DPRK, Haiti, Iran, Myanmar, Ukraine, South Sudan, and Syria. We regret that the Council failed to adequately respond to the situations in China, India, Algeria, Bahrain, Egypt, Libya, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. And we regret that the increasing obstacles to civil society access and participation, both in person and remotely. The full version will be posted on the extranet. Thank you.